I heard wise words one time. Somebody said on the backside of the racetrack, everybody's working when nobody's looking. Everybody wants to see the glitz and glamour, right? Yeah. But everybody's working when nobody's watching. But you know what? In order to get to the glitz and glamour, you got to start somewhere, right? Talk about the day-to-day -day what you see with the people on the backside. Because you're very connected to the people. Well, I see, uh, of course, Diana and I, we see a wonderful, tight-knit community of hard workers. I mean, he, he said it best. It's a family. Um, we, I'll be honest with you, when I first started as chaplain, it took me two solid years to earn the trust on the backstretch because, you know, I'm coming through the barn. People don't know me. They don't know what I'm doing, don't know what Diane's doing. I mean, uh, you know, at first, when they when she first came down here. But um, after about two years of helping people walk through the barn, somebody says, hey, there's the chaplain. He helped me with this. He can help you once you go talk to him. And next thing you know, word gets out. Word of mouth is the best thing uh, there is, word of mouth. And uh, we just try to be a uh, reflector of a of a light for people. You don't have to be on the backside of a racetrack to go through a dark time. And uh, if we can be a light in a dark place, we've done our job. You, you know how you gain trust? Gain trust by showing that you're that you're here to help them. That's how you gain trust. And I don't I don't ever want to try to be something I'm not. I said I had a goal when the Lord called me into ministry. I said, Lord, if, if I ever get into a situation where I'm trying to be something that I'm not. That I need you to pull me out of ministry and put me somewhere else. Humble me, if anything. Say that again, one more time. I don't want to be. I don't ever want to try to be something that I'm not. I want to be on a level with people, uh, on their level, because I'm no better than anybody else. And I told the Lord when They called me into ministry, I said, if if I ever get into a situation where I'm trying to be something I'm not, then you need to pull me out of there and have me doing something else. Amen. Like in hip hop, they say that's a bar. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody dropped the bar, that's what they say. Hip hop, they say that's a bar right there. But, uh, and that's what we're talking about, man. Like they don't get no better than yeah. that. But I want to be just like Aaron. You know, when I come to the bar and somebody got something on their mind, I want to be able to comfortably talk to them. You know, that's what it's all about. And you know, it's hard to get to everybody, but you know, I'm here and there. I get called away and I'm bouncing. But people, people know where the office is. They know how to get a hold of me. And,